Question 1. What age group must renew their driver's license in person at the DMV? A. Under 18. B. 21 and over. C. 65 and over. D. All ages. Answer. C. 65 and over. Seniors 65 and older must renew their driver's license in person to take a vision test and possibly a written test. Question 2. How often do senior drivers need to take a vision test for license renewal? A. Every renewal. B. Every other renewal. C. Every five years. D. Only the first time. Answer. A. Every renewal. Senior drivers are required to take a vision test at every license renewal period. Question 3. What is the correct following distance on a highway for seniors? A. 2 seconds. B. 3 seconds. C. 4 seconds. D. 5 seconds. Answer. B. 3 seconds. The recommended following distance on a highway is at least 3 seconds, providing a safe distance to react. Question 4. Describe the process for left turns at a red light from a one-way street to a one-way street. A. Illegal in all circumstances. B. Legal after stopping and yielding. C. Only legal during daylight hours. D. Legal without stopping. Answer, B. Legal after stopping and yielding. In California, it's legal to make a left turn at a red light from a one-way street onto another one-way street after stopping and yielding to traffic and pedestrians. Question 5. What are the penalties for not stopping for a school bus with flashing red lights? A. Fine only. B. Fine and points on license. C. Community service. D. Warning. Answer, B, fine and points on license. Failing to stop for a school bus with flashing red lights results in a fine and points on your driving record. Question 6. Identify the sign that indicates a pedestrian crosswalk ahead. A, yellow diamond with two walking figures. B, white square with walking figure. C, yellow circle with walking figure. D, blue square with walking figure. Answer. A. Yellow diamond with two walking figures. This sign warns drivers of an upcoming pedestrian crosswalk. Question 7. Explain the right-of-way rule at a four-way stop. A. The first to arrive goes first. B. The vehicle on the right goes first. C. The fastest vehicle goes first. D. Vehicles on the main road go first. Answer. A. The first to arrive goes first. At a four-way stop, the first vehicle to stop at the intersection has the right-of-way. Question 8. When is it necessary to use headlights during the day? A. In heavy traffic. B. On highways. C. When visibility is reduced. D. Never. Answer. C. When visibility is reduced, headlights must be used during the day when visibility is reduced due to conditions like fog or heavy rain. Question 9. To find the term blind spot and how it affects driving. A. Area outside the vehicle not visible in mirrors. B. 
the spot on the windshield covered by wipers. C. Area directly behind the vehicle. D. Spot on the road not illuminated by headlights. Answer. A. Area outside the vehicle not visible in mirrors. Blind spots are areas around the vehicle that cannot be directly seen by the driver through the mirrors. Question 10. What steps should you take if involved in a minor traffic collision without injuries? A. Leave the scene immediately. B. Call the police and wait. C. Exchange information with the other driver. D. Wait for a tow truck. Answer, C. Exchange information with the other driver. In a minor collision without injuries, drivers should exchange contact and insurance information. Question 11. What does a diamond-shaped sign indicate? A. Yield. B. Railroad crossing. C. School zone. D. Warning or hazard. Answer, D, warning or hazard. Diamond-shaped signs are used to warn drivers of potential hazards or changes in road conditions ahead. Question 12, at what BAC level is a senior driver considered DUI? A, 0, 4%, B, 0, 8%, C, 0, 10%, D, 0, 5%. Answer, B, 0, 8%. In California, a driver is considered to be under the influence if their blood alcohol concentration is 0, 8% or higher. Question 13, describe the safe procedure for changing lanes on a multi-lane highway. A, signal, check mirrors, then change lanes quickly. B, slow down, signal, and change lanes. C, signal, check mirrors, and blind spot then change lanes when safe. D. Change lanes without signaling to surprise other drivers. Answer. C. Signal, check mirrors, and blind spot, then change lanes when safe. This is the safe procedure for changing lanes to ensure it's done without causing accidents. Question 14. How does one properly yield to emergency vehicles on the road? A. Speed up to clear the lane. B. Stop immediately, regardless of location. C. Pull over to the right and stop. D. Continue driving at the same speed. Answer, C. Pull over to the right and stop. When you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights, you should safely pull over to the right side of the road and stop. Question 15. What is the significance of a solid yellow line on your side of the roadway? A. Passing is allowed. B. Indicates a parking zone. C. Passing is not allowed. D. Used for turn lanes only. Answer, C. Passing is not allowed. A solid yellow line on your side of the road means you are not allowed to pass vehicles ahead of you. Question 16. What actions should you take when approaching a flashing yellow traffic signal? A. Proceed with caution. B. Stop and wait for the light to change. C. Accelerate to clear the intersection quickly. D. Turn around to avoid the intersection.
Answer. A. Proceed with caution. A flashing yellow signal means you should slow down and proceed through the intersection with caution. Question 17. What are the rules regarding cell phone use for seniors while driving? A. Handheld use is permitted at all times. B. Only hands-free use is permitted. C. No cell phone use is allowed. D. Texting is allowed, but calling is not. Answer. B. Only hands-free use is permitted. In California, drivers are allowed to use cell phones only in a hands-free manner. Question 18. Explain the use of roundabouts for traffic management. A. To increase traffic speed. B. To stop all traffic. C. To reduce traffic congestion and improve safety. D. For decorative purposes only. Answer. C. To reduce traffic congestion and improve safety. Roundabouts are used to improve traffic flow and reduce collisions at intersections. Question 19. Identify the sign that warns of a steep grade ahead. A. Triangle with a truck going downhill. B. Circle with a truck going uphill. C. Diamond with a truck going downhill. D. Square with an arrow pointing down. Answer. C. Diamond with a truck going downhill. This sign warns drivers of a steep downhill grade ahead. Question 20. What are the requirements for securing a load on a vehicle? A. No requirements if driving under 30 miles per hour. B. Loads must be covered and secured with appropriate restraints. C. Securing loads is only recommended, not required. D. Only heavy items need to be secured. Answer. B. Loads must be covered and secured with appropriate restraints. It's important to properly secure all loads on a vehicle to prevent items from falling onto the roadway, which can create hazardous conditions for other drivers. Question 21. How should you react to aggressive drivers on the road? A. Respond with similar aggression to assert your space. B. Ignore their behavior and maintain your driving. C. Pull over and confront them. D. Report them to the authorities if necessary. Answer. B. Ignore their behavior and maintain your driving. The best approach is to avoid engaging with aggressive drivers and maintain focus on safe driving practices. Question 22. What does a no U-turn sign look like? A. A U-turn symbol with a red slash through it. B. A green circle. C. A yellow diamond with a U-turn arrow. D. An orange rectangle. Answer. A. A U-turn symbol with a red slash through it. This sign clearly indicates that U-turns are prohibited. Question 23. Describe the effects of medications on driving ability for seniors. A. Medications have no effect on driving ability. B. Some medications may enhance driving skills. C. Many medications can impair reaction time, judgment, and coordination. D. Only medications for sleep have any effect. Answer. C. Many medications can impair reaction time, judgment, and coordination.
Seniors should be aware of how their medications may affect their driving. Question 24. What are the best practices for driving in foggy conditions? A. Use high beams for better visibility. B. Drive at the same speed as in clear conditions. C. Use low beams and reduce speed. D. Turn off all lights to avoid glare. Answer. C. Use low beams and reduce speed. Low beams and a slower speed improve safety in foggy conditions. Question 25. What does a green arrow showing at a traffic light mean? A. Stop immediately. B. Yield to oncoming traffic. C. You have the right of way to make a turn. D. Pedestrians may cross. Answer. C. You have the right of way to make a turn. A green arrow indicates that it is safe to proceed in the direction of the arrow. Question 26. How can seniors ensure they are driving at a safe speed? A. Always drive 5 miles per hour below the speed limit. B. Match the speed of surrounding traffic. C. Follow posted speed limits and adjust for conditions. D. Drive as fast as the vehicle can go. Answer. C. Follow posted speed limits and adjust for conditions. It's important to adapt speed to both the legal limits and current driving conditions. Question 27. What is the importance of shoulder checks before turning? A. They are not necessary if you use mirrors. B. To check for vehicles in your blind spot. C. To ensure your lights are working. D. To stretch and prevent shoulder pain. Answer. B. To check for vehicles in your blind spot. Shoulder checks are crucial for detecting vehicles that mirrors may not catch. Question 28. Identify the sign that indicates a merging traffic lane. A. A yellow triangle with two arrows coming together. B. A red octagon. C. A blue square with a merge symbol. D. A white diamond with merge arrows. Answer. A. A yellow triangle with two arrows coming together. This sign warns drivers that lanes are coming together and they should prepare to merge. Question 29. What are the consequences of failing a DMV road test for renewal? A. Immediate license revocation. B. Opportunity to retake the test. C. Mandatory driving school enrollment. D. No consequences. Answer. B. Opportunity to retake the test. Failing a road test often results in the chance to retake the test after a certain period. Question 30. How should a driver react to an end school zone sign? A. Increase speed immediately. B. Continue at the school zone speed limit until reaching the sign. C. Stop and check for children. D. Maintain speed as the sign does not affect speed limits. Answer. B. Continue at the school zone speed limit until reaching the sign. Drivers should maintain the lower speed limit until they have passed the end school zone sign. Question 31. What precautions should be taken when exiting a freeway? A. 
increase speed to merge with traffic. B. Signal well in advance and gradually slow down. C. Exit without signaling to avoid confusion. D. Keep speed constant until off the ramp. Answer. B. Signal well in advance and gradually slow down. Proper signaling and deceleration are important for safely exiting a freeway. Question 32. Describe the significance of a yield sign. A. It means stop if you see other vehicles. B. Slow down, but keep moving. C. Give the right of way to other vehicles and pedestrians. D. Only yield to vehicles on your left. Answer. C. Give the right of way to other vehicles and pedestrians. A yield sign requires drivers to let others go first if they are present. Question 33. How can seniors improve their reaction time while driving? A. By driving faster. B. Staying focused and avoiding distractions. C. Drinking caffeinated beverages. D. Listening to loud music. Answer. B. Staying focused and avoiding distractions. Keeping attention on the road helps in reacting timely to traffic situations. Question 34. What does a blinking red traffic light signify? A. The traffic light is out of order. B. Proceed with caution. C. Treat it as a stop sign. D. Yield to oncoming traffic. Answer. C. Treat it as a stop sign. A blinking red light means you must come to a complete stop and proceed when safe. Question 35. What techniques can help with parallel parking? A. Parking diagonally. B. Using only the rear view mirror. C. Using reference points and practicing. D. Speeding up to fit into the spot. Answer. C. Using reference points and practicing. Effective techniques and practice are key to mastering parallel parking. Question 36. Explain the purpose of HOV lanes and their rules. A. For high-speed vehicles only. B. To reduce traffic congestion by encouraging carpooling. C. No specific rules, open to all vehicles. D. For electric vehicles only. Answer. B. To reduce traffic congestion by encouraging carpooling. HOV lanes are designed to promote shared rides, reducing the number of vehicles on the road. Question 37. Identify the sign that warns of a railroad crossing ahead. A. A white X with RR. B. A yellow circle with a black train. C. A red triangle with a train. D. A blue square with a train. Answer. A. A white X with RR. This sign indicates the presence of a railroad crossing, alerting drivers to be cautious. Question 38. What adjustments might seniors need to make for night driving? A. Wear sunglasses at night. B. Use high beams at all times. C. Increase following distances and reduce speed. D. Avoid using headlights to improve night vision.
Answer, C, increase following distances and reduce speed. These adjustments can help compensate for decreased night vision. Question 39, how should drivers handle emergency stops on the freeway? A, stop in the middle lane. B, pull over to the nearest exit. C, use the emergency lane or shoulder if available. D, continue to the next rest area. Answer, C, use the emergency lane or shoulder if available. For safety, drivers should use the emergency lane or shoulder for emergency stops to avoid obstructing traffic and reduce the risk of accidents. Question 40. What does a white painted curb mean? A. Loading zone for commercial vehicles only. B. Handicap parking only. C. Short-term parking with a time limit. D. Loading or unloading passengers or mail only. Answer, D, loading or unloading passengers or mail only. A white painted curb designates areas designated for the loading or unloading of passengers or mail, typically with a time limit specified. Question 41, explain the DMV's policy on license renewal extensions for seniors. A, automatic extensions for all seniors. B, no extensions under any circumstances. C, Extensions granted for medical reasons only, the case-by-case -case basis for extensions. Answer, D, case-by-case -case basis for extensions. The DMV may grant renewal extensions on a case-by-case -case basis, considering factors like health and mobility. Question 42. How can seniors maintain their driving skills? A. Regularly participating in refresher courses. B. Driving less frequently. C. Only driving in familiar areas. D. Avoiding night driving. Answer. A. Regularly participating in refresher courses. Engaging in refresher courses or defensive driving classes can help seniors maintain their driving skills. Question 43. What does a slippery when wet sign look like? A. A blue square with a car and skid marks. B. A yellow diamond with a car and skid marks. C. A red triangle with a rain cloud. D. A green circle with an umbrella. Answer, B, a yellow diamond with a car and skid marks. This sign warns drivers that the road may be slippery when wet and to proceed with caution. Question 44, describe the protocol for driving through a tunnel. A, speed up to minimize time inside. B, turn off all lights to save energy. C, maintain a steady speed and use headlights. D, use high beams for better visibility. Answer, C, maintain a steady speed and use headlights. When driving through a tunnel, it's important to maintain a steady speed. Use your vehicle's headlights and follow any posted signs or signals. Question 45, what are the guidelines for turning at intersections without traffic signals? A, yield to all oncoming traffic before turning. B, turn quickly to avoid holding up traffic. C, Honk to alert other drivers of your intention to turn. D. Only turn left for easier navigation.
Answer. A. Yield to all oncoming traffic before turning. Drivers should yield to all oncoming traffic and pedestrians before making a turn at intersections without traffic signals. Question 46. How does age affect peripheral vision, and what can be done to compensate? A. Age does not affect peripheral vision. B. Peripheral vision improves with age. C. Peripheral vision may decrease. Frequent mirror checks can compensate. D. Use only central vision for driving decisions. Answer. C. Peripheral vision may decrease. Frequent mirror checks can compensate. As age can decrease peripheral vision, drivers should make frequent checks of their mirrors to compensate for this change. Question 47. Identify the sign that indicates a no-passing zone. A. A rectangular blue sign with a white arrow. B. A yellow diamond with two opposite arrows. C. A pennant-shaped sign, yellow with black stripes. D. A green circle with a red slash. Answer. C. A pennant-shaped sign, yellow with black stripes. This sign indicates that drivers are entering a no-passing zone and should not overtake other vehicles. Question 48. What factors should be considered when determining a safe following distance? A. Time of day and vehicle color. B. Road conditions, speed, and weather. C. Type of music playing on the radio. D. Vehicle make and model only. And Answer B. Road conditions, speed, and weather. Safe following distances depend on several factors, including road conditions, your speed, and the weather, to ensure adequate reaction time. Question 49. How to handle situations where you're being tailgated. A. Slam on your brakes to teach the tailgater a lesson. B. Increase your speed to put distance between you and the tailgater. C. Maintain or slightly decrease your speed and allow the tailgater to pass. D. Wave aggressively to signal them to back off. Answer. C. Maintain or slightly decrease your speed and allow the tailgater to pass. The safest way to handle being tailgated is to maintain or gently reduce your speed and encourage the tailgater to overtake when it's safe. Question 50. What does a solid white line on the road indicate? A. Lane changes are encouraged. B. Marks the edge of the roadway. C. Lane changes are prohibited. D. Pedestrian crossing area. Answer. C. Lane changes are prohibited. A solid white line on the road typically indicates that lane changes are not allowed at that point. Question 51. What are the key elements of defensive driving for seniors? A. Ignoring other drivers' behaviors. B. Focusing solely on speed control. C. Anticipating other drivers' actions, maintaining a safe distance, and staying alert. D. Relying on others to follow traffic laws. Answer. C. Anticipating other drivers' actions, maintaining a safe distance, and staying alert. Defensive driving involves being aware of potential hazards before they occur and responding safely. Question 52. Describe the actions to take if your vehicle starts to skid on ice. A. Accelerate to gain traction. B. 
Brake hard to stop the skid. C. Steer in the direction of the skid to regain control. D. Exit the vehicle immediately. Answer, C. Steer in the direction of the skid to regain control. This helps realign the vehicle's direction with your intended path. Question 53. What does an orange traffic sign typically indicate? A. School zone. B. Residential area. C. Construction or maintenance work ahead. D. Park zone. Answer, C, construction or maintenance work ahead. Orange signs are used to indicate temporary conditions, such as road work. Question 54, what are the rules for using headlights and high beams? A, high beams in all conditions for better visibility. B, headlights at night and in poor visibility, high beams when no traffic is near. C, headlights only in complete darkness. D. High beams in urban areas for safety. Answer. B. Headlights at night and in poor visibility, high beams when no traffic is near. This ensures optimal visibility without impairing other drivers. Question 55. How should seniors approach intersections with malfunctioning traffic signals? A. Treat it as a four-way stop. P. Ignore the signals and proceed with caution. C. Wait for the signals to be repaired. D. Proceed as if the intersection is clear. Answer. A. Treat it as a four-way stop. This ensures safety for all drivers approaching the intersection. Question 56. Identify the sign that indicates a school zone ahead. A. A yellow pentagon with two crossing children. B. A blue square with a book symbol. C. A green circle with a schoolhouse. D. A red octagon with C view wool written on it. Answer. A. A yellow pentagon with two crossing children. This sign warns drivers of an approaching school zone, indicating they should reduce speed and watch for children. Question 57. What are the benefits of taking a mature driver improvement course? A. Immediate license renewal. B. Reduction in insurance premiums. C. Ability to disregard traffic laws. D. No benefits, purely educational. Answer. B. Reduction in insurance premiums. Many insurance companies offer discounts to seniors who complete a driver improvement course. Question 58. How to safely navigate through large intersections with multiple traffic lanes. A. Choose a lane early and signal your intentions. B. Change lanes in the intersection for convenience. C. Speed up to cross quickly. D. Follow other vehicles closely to avoid confusion. Answer. A. Choose a lane early and signal your intentions. This helps ensure you're in the correct lane for your intended route and informs other drivers of your moves. Question 59. What are the rules for parking on a hill? A. Always park with your wheels turned away from the curb. B. 
Park parallel to the curb with no wheel adjustments. C. Turn your wheels so the car will roll away from the center of the road if moved. D. Turn your wheels to prevent the car from rolling into traffic or the curb. Answer. D. Turn your wheels to prevent the car from rolling into traffic or the curb. This safety measure helps prevent the vehicle from moving dangerously if the brakes fail. Question 60. Explain the concept of right-of-way in traffic. A. The largest vehicle has the right-of-way. B. Drivers turning left have the right-of-way. C. Pedestrians and vehicles in certain situations have the legal right to proceed first. D. Right-of-way is determined by vehicle speed. Answer. C. Pedestrians and vehicles in certain situations have the legal right to proceed first. Understanding and respecting right-of-way rules is crucial for traffic safety and efficiency. Question 61. What actions should be taken if a tire blows out while driving? A. Immediately apply the brakes hard. B. Maintain steering control and gradually slow down. C. Speed up to counterbalance the blowout. D. Exit the vehicle. Answer. B. Maintain steering control and gradually slow down. In the event of a tire blowout, it's crucial to keep the vehicle steady and slowly decelerate to a safe speed before pulling over. Question 62. Identify the sign that warns of a sharp turn ahead. A. A yellow diamond with an arrow curving sharply. B. A red triangle with an exclamation mark. C. A blue circle with a straight arrow. D. A green square with a curved arrow. Answer. A. A yellow diamond with an arrow curving sharply. This sign is used to alert drivers to a sharp turn in the road ahead, advising caution and a reduction in speed. Question 63. What are the guidelines for adjusting mirrors to minimize blind spots? A. Position mirrors to see the side of your car. B. Angle mirrors outward to just see the edge of your car. C. Keep mirrors inward for a better view of the lane directly behind. D. Use only the rearview mirror for a comprehensive view. Answer B. Angle mirrors outward to just see the edge of your car. Properly adjusting your mirrors to slightly overlap with the field of view of the rearview mirror can help reduce blind spots. Question 64. How should seniors handle left turns at busy intersections? A. Wait for the green arrow only. B. Turn immediately when the light turns green. C. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, turning when safe. D. Avoid left turns by planning routes with right turns only. Answer. C. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, turning when safe. It's important to wait for a safe gap in oncoming traffic and ensure no pedestrians are crossing before making a left turn. Question 65. Describe the procedure for renewing a driver's license online, if available. A. Visit the DMV website, complete the application, and pay the fee. B. 
email the DMV requesting a renewal. C. Online renewal is not available. Visit a DMV office. D. Send a renewal request through regular mail. Answer. A. Visit the DMV website, complete the application, and pay the fee. Many states offer online renewal as a convenient option for eligible drivers, including completing any required tests.